understand it, Father. God is everything, and family is everything. The words of Ryan Jester in here. So you watch football, you watch linebackers and defensive backs. Just yeah. imagine going toe to toe with these guys. Yeah, exactly. It's like I said, Antonio, don't believe. That's it. That's it. Wow. Cut past the first round. Oh, oh, he took. Oh, man, that he did, took. That was it. That's the fight. That might have been it. No, that is the fight. I'm telling you right now. I mean, he. That's it. That's it. This fight is brought to you by tfastonline.com and EC Tucker Electric Company, serving the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and providing all your MRO and electric needs. Chester, six wins, three defeats as a professional. He's a big man. Big man, a damn good fighter. Go we'll fight another big man coming out right now, Mr. J Ladies and gentlemen, this one is being brought to you by T-Fest Online and EC Tucker Electric. We are set for three rounds of fighting action in the XKO Heavyweight Muay Thai Division. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the next bank blue corner. He's trained in jiu-jitsu, standing six feet even, weighing in 259 pounds. With three victories and two defeats, he represents Ion Jiu-Jitsu, fighting out of Sulphur Springs, Texas, Ryan Chester. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner. He's trained in Muay Thai and stands six feet even, weighing in 659 pounds. Bringing to the cage six victories and three defeats, representing FS Muay Thai, fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Jason Klein. The three, JJ Ferrero. Ladies and gentlemen, don't blink. And my apologies for those of you watching at home. Going for Jason Klein, 259 pounds, not 300. And it's F5 Muay Thai. Just speaking with his coaches. Here we go. Chester in the blue, Klein in the green. These are big men. Jason Klein, a former professional bull rider. Teeth knocked out. Double hip replacement, gored throughout the thigh, multiple broken bones. And I asked him, who would want to fight a bull rider who's had his body broken and beaten and is still ready to knock the block off of somebody? Ryan Chester, that's who, from Sulphur Springs, Texas. Well, I tell you, these guys are not lacking any confidence to try and knock each other out. And I'll tell you, you know, the sheer discipline in Jason Klein, you see... The traditional headdress you see him walk the cage i tell you it doesn't get much more tight than that ladies and gentlemen yeah and ryan chester i mean he's somebody we know whose whose hands really do the talking I and mean, he's got such powerful hands and i'll tell you it's so great to see ryan chester get in here and i'll tell you the heavyweights man they are the ones that wow. oh my god right there uppercut 
Ryan Chester going to town yeah. here with Jason Klein back and forth. Yeah, these guys, boy, I tell you, they're right up against this at, at, at this weight. I mean, we've got we've got over 500 pounds in the cage right now, Antonio, and I just don't want to fall through and land it on it. I'll tell you right now, man, you know, we talked about this before. We talked about linebackers, linemen, professional football players. These guys are strong, powerful, and they can hurt you from top to bottom. Oh, there's no doubt of that. I mean, there's no doubt. Now, remember, elbows and knees are allowed in this. And we and, and I'm talking about reinforced knees, but we have not seen any elbows as of as of yet. Chester with a nice kick. Uh, pardon me, Klein with a nice kick. Representing F5 Muay Thai once again, Jason Klein in the green and black, Ryan Chester in the blue shorts. You know, and anybody watching who, who maybe looks at him and goes, "Well, you know, these guys, you know, they're not solid muscle." Let me tell you something. You see, you see either one of them breathing hard. Not at all. Okay, that was a slip. That, that was, was a slip. slip. And, and that, they, and we just tested the cage's floor ability. We did. And I told both of these fighters, once this fight is over, I'm buying you both a beer on yeah. me. Boy, oh, nice combo there by Chester. Klein with a nice knee as Chester came in, drove him in there. Referee's going to break him up, separate him. Referee J.J. Ferrado, he is the top dog for Muay Thai in the state of Texas. Just spoke to him earlier about that. Well, and I, you know what? And I tell you, for, for Klein, for a big guy, really crisp kicks. Oh, I'll tell you, Brian Chester is no slouch tonight. No, 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 no slouch. But Klein, I've not seen fight before, and he's very, very impressive. Oh, oh that's a monster a nice jab. And that is oh, the end man. of round one. Klein took a monster jab by Chester at the end of round number one. Very impressive performance by both fighters. And listen, I want to go back to the fact that, look, all right, these guys are packing a six-pack. They're not walking around with a six-pack or whatever. These, these, this, these are real men. I, the, 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 I, I say that in the sense of, when you come to Texas, baby. That's right. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you right now, if I got to pull a team right now, it's like, look, there's going to be a street fight, yep. and you got like 10 guys on your team, these two sons of bitches right here, they're making they're making my top 10. You know what I'll tell you right because, now. Because, because here's the thing. Yes. Regardless of their size, they are quick, they are athletic, they are powerful, and they've got gas. They do. Speaking about both these fighters, Jason Klein used to ride bulls professionally for eight years in the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. Broke his hip real bad. He had two hip replacements, over 200 stitches throughout his rodeo career, four dislocated shoulders, broke his jaw, left forearm two times, three fingers on his left hand, busted out two teeth, got hooked by a bullhorn through the back of his left leg, and then that was, as he states, he was extremely lucky. Well, that's a nice way to put it. <laughs> and that, those are his words. 39 years old, 230 pounds from Fort Worth, Texas. 39. And two of his stoppages were by way of leg kicks. Well, like I said, you definitely see he's got skill in the leg kicks. Now, Ryan Chester, of course, this is his this is his Muay Thai debut. Right. Because we know that he's an MMA fighter coming in here three and two. So... But one of the things, you know, he says, he goes, I enjoy spending time with his family. He's involved with the kids' ministry at his church. Uh, coaches the offensive and defensive line right. for the fifth and sixth grade team, the Sulphur Springs. I mean, I mean, he's just a terrific guy with a real good religious belief and, and godly heart. And you got to, you know, he just happens to come to cave, you know, share that love of Jesus with his hands. Right. And here we are again. And Chester goes right after Klein, wasting no time. And I mean, and again, like I said, Klein was a pro bull rider. And I, I got to be, I, that's got to help, Antonio, don't you think? Well, when you when you make your career wrestling a Brahma bull that weighs close to damn near 2,000 pounds. That's exactly right. And that's what, I, and that's what I'm thinking. You don't, they, you're not going to be scared. You know, I'll tell you right now. I mean, Chester's a big, scary guy, but I mean. Oh, Klein is a big, scary guy. Well, Klein's a big, but I'm saying Chester's a big, scary guy. And so Klein's looking at him and going, well, you ain't no 2,000-pound Brahma freaking bull. You know, when I spoke to both these guys at the fight, you know, they are looking forward to trading leather. Here we are. And I'll tell you what, you talk about Muay Thai in a cage here in Dallas, Texas. Two Brahma bulls going at it. I'll tell you right now, 
there's some sweat, there's some blood that you're about to see, but this uh, is fighting. Yeah, a nice knee by Klein. You can really see Klein. Oh, Klein took a little chin music there. Yeah, he did. But he's giving it right back. Uh, and I'd like to see Klein use use those use his elbows. You know, because as a because Muay Thai is definitely his discipline. You can see that by the way he clinches. He's been very well schooled. Chester. Man, he just kind of comes in and one knock the hell out of you. You know, the thing about Chester is that he can take you down standing up. He can take you down to the ground and beat you. We saw that in the moment of his last footage yeah, of his fights. Right, when, but of course that's MMA, and now we are here. This is a different game to, from, to that degree. And it's really exciting to see Chester, you know, represent Sopas. Great guy, a lot of power. Uh, he was down at the bomb factory taking on a former Dallas Cowboy. Did not go in his favor, but I tell you right now, man, he's learned a lot since that last fight. Yeah. Well, these are these are just two tough dudes. Man. Oh my God, man! I'm telling you, it goes back to saying it again. Two Brahma bulls right now in the cage, squaring off. Oh, that's a big left by Chester there on Klein. Nice cheap upper, well, you know, dirty boxing. Call a cheap uppercut, a legal uppercut, but that's very very nice as well. Oh, oh there it is another again. uppercut. And that's a that's a good way to keep from getting knee. And I'll tell you right now, you know, Ryan Chester is precise with these uppercuts. And Klein, the chin that this man has, just unfazed. Yeah, Klein, Klein's a Klein's a tough looking dude, eh? You know, and I'll tell you right now, Ryan Chester's giving him those leg kicks. Yeah. And it just Oh, and, he, and, he, and Klein's like, all right, you want to kick the legs? Let's do that. But but Chester's definitely had a little more luck with those hands. And I, I'm just surprised neither one of these guys has gone to elbows yet. Forearms. Things that will cut you and put you to sleep. Here we are in the last 10 seconds of the round here. Jason Klein, Ryan Chester. Muay Thai fight, XKO 43. Yeah. Two minutes between the two of them right now. Last and third final round. We're going to figure out what we can do in the corners to get this fight in each other's favor. Well, and I I really enjoyed this. I'm not going to lie. This is, this is, I mean, why? these are, these are because, because you got two giant men. Right. That are skilled fighters. Yes. You know, if anybody watching this, what you're not seeing are wild haymakers, are guys swinging, you know, from, from their pockets. These guys are truly well-trained, well-disciplined fighters. But, you know, here we are right now. We're talking about the fight fans. If you're watching and tuning in right now, what a tremendous fight. Talking about MMA, talking about Muay Thai. We are so glad that you guys are here. More action coming after this break. Yeah, right there, baby. Bahamas. Yo. Representing home, sweetheart. There you go. And we, it's just really exciting to see these guys really go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And Muay Thai in itself, when you're talking about a guy's this size, I mean, you're right. They're not throwing haymakers. They're going the uppercuts. They're going over a hand rice. And the leg kicks, the pure leg kicks, I mean, my God. Yeah, and, yeah. The, and, those, and like you say, those kicks, I mean, those will break a baseball bat. Yeah. So I, it's, it's super impressive. When you watch these guys absorb something of that magnitude right. with a kick, so uh, it, you got to give it up to them for durability and things yes. of that nature. Yes. I, I mean, this is the vision I would fight in, and I got news for you, Antonio. Yeah. I don't want any part of these guys. You know, I'll tell you right now. You know, Ryan Chester. I'm glad that he's upping his arsenal and doing more time. I'm really glad to add, you know, more flavor to what he has on his menu. Jason Klein. This is the first time that I've seen him. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed. He's got a. He has a great chin. Uh, I want to see a little bit more of his leg kicks because of these KOs. And I'll tell you what. You ask. You better watch out because you're going to receive it. Because tonight, these guys are bringing the pain. Yeah. Here we go. Third and final round, folks. Two Brahma Bulls I, going for the third and final round. And I, and I got to tell you, I can't believe this has gone the distance. I cannot believe this has gone the distance. Neither one are gassing out. I gotta tell you, the conditioning on both of these guys. That's awesome. Don't judge a book by its cover, folks. No. Like I say, I mean, under look under what we obviously see is, you know, they got a little little padding. Underneath there, folks, is nothing but muscle. I tell you right now, man. How tough is Klein? Look at Klein. Yeah, he's like, bring I mean, it he's on. He's telling Chester, bring it on. Chester knocks people out for fun because he's so he's so good and powerful. Now, what Chester needs to do is go ahead and step to the side. Anytime you see Ryan throw that left 
and he did that. He stepped to the side. Yeah, followed up with a kick. Yeah, nice little counter there. Man, boy, and the sweat is coming off these fellas, eh? And I sound Canadian. I've said A twice. You, you did. <laughs> so I'm not from Canada. Eh? No, the, we're, we're not wearing a two. The professional, the former professional bull rider, Jason Klein, and in black and green shorts, giving him hell. Ryan Chester in the blue, giving the hell right back. One minute, 46 seconds left in a round number three. If you look at the small o'clock time clock here at XKO 43, ladies and gentlemen. This is the leg. Let me tell you, and these are, folks, these are not young men. No, 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 no. These, these are guys play, playing around just, just, just on that 40 level. All right? So think about it. To be in this kind of shape, dish out, and take this kind of punishment at this age, these guys are awesome. They're going one Boy. minute left in the fight. The crowd is loving it. And I'll tell you, I, I really like the way that Klein is light on his feet. Followed up there with a the left knee. Trump throwing some nice combinations. Boy, I tell you, I'm impressed. There was that leg kick again. So impressed with, with both fighters. Oh, yeah. I wish we could have one more round with these guys. Oh, no joke, right? Oh, look at that. Beautiful technique. Ryan Chester takes a nice outside leg kick, follows it up with an uppercut. Both these guys. Yeah, they're getting a little tired now. They're getting a little bit tired now. And I think Ryan Chester's probably being a little more tired than Klein. Right. He's missing with the uppercuts. Not as sharp. And we're looking at the time clock. 30 seconds left right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Klein representing Fort Worth, Texas. Ryan Chester representing Sulphur Springs, leaving it all in yeah, the cage. Okay. Klein's had some success right there with those knees to the midsection of Chester. Right now, both these guys are going to finish oh, strong. Oh, what an uppercut by Ryan Chester. Jason Klein. My gosh. Just moving forward. Both what a guys fight. finishing big. Oh, wow. What a war. The crowd is on their feet congratulating what? both these what guys. What a war. Throwing a hat into the fighters. What a war. Beautiful. Tremendous. Let's go to the judges' scorecard. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for these two athletes. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. 30-27 for the F5, Jason Klein. 30-27 for Ryan Chester. And declaring your winner by split decision, 30 27 for Ryan Chester.
<laughs> no joke. All right, I'm here with your winner, Ryan Chester. Ryan, your first step in a professional Muay Thai. We've seen you. Uh, we've seen you in MMA. You're you're a scary guy. Let's be honest. I don't mean. I mean, you're 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 a handsome man. You're a handsome man. I mean, when you get in the cage, you do some damage. We've we, we, we've seen you in MMA. Now we watch you doing Muay Thai. What do you like better? Let me ask. You. Second kick suck, man. I don't know. I like stand up, but uh, I don't feel like I opened up enough tonight. But you know. Well, Jason Klein. I mean, former professional bull rider, been hooked by bull, beat up, broken, two hips replaced, the whole nine yards. He's used to two thousand pound Brahma bulls, and I told Antonio, I said Ryan Chester's scary some bitch, but man. He's used to Brahma Bulls, and he didn't flinch with you. I mean, he took he took some punishment, and and I, I mean, huge props to him because I, I don't want to be hit by nobody here wants to be hit by you. What what did you think of his performance, defending what you were throwing at him? I thought he did good. He towards the later rounds that right low kick started hurting a little bit. He caught me with a hook or something a couple times that was solid. So I thought he did good. Well, listen, we. Tremendous fight you guys tremendous athletes, you know, we, we we talk about look you and I We're sexy sons of bitches, right? But what people don't realize until they watch, you know, you guys just beat the crap out of each other at a high pace for three rounds And just went to town and neither one of you gassed out That's an exceptional athlete which you men are and anybody and I told Antonio this if I had a street fight tonight and had to pick 10 guys out of the back, you two suckers are going to be on my team because y'all are the real deal. What, what, what's next? You're going to go back MMA? You want to do another Muay Thai fight? Probably MMA. Talk to my coaches, see what's next. But uh, I got to say thanks to my coaches, Shane Rose, Alan Rose, new addition to the team last few months, Elliot Jones, trying to keep up with his movement. But uh, I still got some work to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your winner. Ryan Chester.